Sifu Anthony here from Flowing Zen. And in this video, I want to talk about whether or not Tai Chi is a form of Qigong. So there's no simple answer. I can't just say yes or no. It requires some explanation first. So first of all, what is Tai Chi and what is Qigong? So Qigong is the ancient Chinese art of energy cultivation, specifically for health, wellness, vitality, sometimes for martial arts, sometimes for spirituality. There are many different types of Qigong and many different styles. Qi means energy and Kong means cultivation. So Qigong is the art of energy cultivation. What is Tai Chi? Well, technically that is a misnomer. We should be saying Tai Chi Chuan. So when we say Tai Chi, we leave off the last part, the chuan, which means really just kung fu. So what we usually refer to as tai chi is a form of kung fu. It's a soft flowing style of kung fu or a form of a martial art. So of course we know that tai chi is good for the health, right? We, we, that, that is very widely recognized even in Western culture now. There's been a ton of research on it, and we know that this soft Chinese martial art is also very good for the health. So you can see already there's some overlap there. There's even more overlap because most Tai Chi schools incorporate Qigong. So I've met a lot of students that they practiced Tai Chi for years, and they didn't even know they were doing Qigong. So for example, they were doing some warm-up exercises, and... Later, they learn that those exercises are actually Qigong. Vice versa, you have some Qigong students who learn some exercises that are actually from the Tai Chi tradition, but they were snuck into a Qigong class. I myself am guilty of that. Some of my students out there, you may have had that happen to you. I may have snuck in a Tai Chi technique or two into a class that was technically on the subject of Qigong. So, there is a tremendous amount of overlap between the two. So it gets confusing. So let's back up a little bit. Tai Chi is a martial art. It is a Chinese martial art, a Chinese form of Kung Fu. It's a soft martial art. It deals with the flow of Qi. And in that sense, of course, it's very good for the health. One pet peeve of mine is that the Qi in Tai Chi does not mean energy. This is a big misunderstanding out there. It's kind of surprising that people are still confused by this. We're pronouncing it wrong. The chi in Tai Chi shouldn't be pronounced that way. We all do it. I'm guilty myself. What we should be saying is Tai Ji. And Tai Ji, those two words, mean great ultimate, or really they can mean cosmic or cosmos, but there's no energy in the words Tai Ji Chuan. Okay, the, the, the word qi for energy, the Chinese word qi, is not in there. Now, qigong, that word means energy. Now, tai chi can absolutely be practiced as a form of qigong in the sense that you are cultivating the energy. Yes? So, by practicing our tai chi forms, or certainly by doing our warm-up exercises, many people, for example, do uh, the eight pieces of brocades as a warm-up for their tai chi practice. Okay, great. All of that can be considered a cultivation of energy, right? So in that sense, yes, we're cultivating qi. So in that sense, yes, it's a form of qigong. But here's, here's where I sometimes draw a line, and I think it's helpful for people. So for example, tai chi is complex. Learning these, the, the, for example, the, the basic form that I teach, the, the, the yang style short form, it, it's complex. It's a long, complex form. It requires move after move after move. And sometimes people are not interested in learning all those moves because it is a martial art and because a lot of the teachers teaching Tai Chi, they, they want to continue the tradition. They want to teach it like that. So if your goal is just purely health and vitality, well, sometimes there are more streamlined choices, specifically something called medical Qigong. So what is medical Qigong? Well, medical Qigong is one of the, the main categories of Qigong. There are different types of Qigong. So, for example, medical Qigong, uh, scholarly Qigong is for you know, mental clarity and creativity. We have martial Qigong. It's stuff specifically for martial arts, not for health, but for internal power in martial arts. 
We have spiritual Qigong, which is specifically designed for spirituality. Maybe not even designed for health. Maybe it's designed for things beyond health, for example. So if you are interested in decreasing your pain and getting healthier, then sometimes you just need the right tool for the job, and that tool would be medical Qigong. Right? That would be more streamlined. So it's not to say that practicing Tai Chi wouldn't maybe also get you there, but it depends on what you're dealing with. In my experience, medical Qigong will get you there faster and simpler. Remember that Qigong is a modern term. It was invented in the mid 20th century. It was used in the past, but it, it became an umbrella term in the mid 20th century to refer to all sorts of energy arts that in the past might have had other terms. Like they might have called it uh, Nei Gong or Nei Dan or uh, Wai Dan or uh, let's see, what's uh, a Dao Yin for, for some of the dynamic Qigong exercises. Or uh, you, there, there were a lot of terms in the past used for what we now just, we just use the term Qigong. So in that sense, you know, there, we can't just say Qigong is this or Qigong is that. Uh, so, again, it's a complex subject whether or not Tai Chi is a form of Qigong because, well, what is Qigong anyway? So, ultimately, what we can say is that Tai Chi is a martial art. You know, th these moves that you're practicing in Tai Chi, even if you've lost that in your tradition, even if you're not sure what, you know, the Jade Girl movement, what, what does that mean? What, are the, what is the application behind it? Personally, I... When I teach, I like to I like to teach the the meaning behind the moves, but not all schools do. Some schools, even some of these research studies on Tai Chi, they they're they're pretty far from the martial histories of Tai Chi, but there is no question that that's what Tai Chi was and that's what it was designed for. So you know when when these moves were designed, they were designed with martial arts in mind. Now that is not necessarily true of a lot of Qigong, and it's definitely not true of medical Qigong. So, like, um, a famous medical Qigong exercise, which one of the eight brocades, it's also one of the 18 Lahan hands, it's a medical Qigong exercise, and it's a cool pose to strike in a Kung Fu movie, but this is not a martial arts technique. Okay? Make, it, th this will do you no good. Okay, it'll, make, it'll be, do you good in a fight in the sense that it'll make you healthier and you know, things like that. It'll help you get more chi to your arms, which will help. But this, the move itself is not a martial arts move. Okay, so that, that is different, whereas the moves in Tai Chi are. So in the end, is Tai Chi a form of Qigong? Well, it depends on what Tai Chi means to you and what Qigong means to you. In the end, I think what matters most is results. I'm always reminding students that what we're after is results. So what results you're after is dependent on you. What are your goals? So if you are practicing Tai Chi for health, well, you better be getting health results, right? If you're practicing Tai Chi as a martial art, well, you better be getting more and more skillful as a martial artist, and you better have ways to test that. If you're practicing Qigong for health, well, you better be getting healthier, right? That's the same as if you're practicing Tai Chi for health. If you're practicing Qigong for martial arts power, not martial arts moves, but internal power, which is a larger subject, well, you better be getting more and more powerful and you better have a way of measuring that. So if you, that's martial Qigong. If you're practicing martial arts Qigong, then it's assumed that your goal is greater internal power and you better be getting more and more internal power. Similarly, if you are practicing Qigong for spirituality, well, do you have a way of measuring that? Are you getting results? Are you becoming more and more spiritual? Buddhist monks and Taoist priests all practice martial arts, so I think that Tai Chi happens to be a very, very spiritual practice. But again, it depends on what you are practicing it for, what your goals are, and are you measuring results, and you, are, you, are you getting results in your desired areas? So if you're practicing Tai Chi for health and you're getting good results, well then I guess it's a form of Qigong. If you're practicing Qigong for martial power and you're getting more and more powerful, well, I guess that's you know, kind of martial Qigong, and it fits someplace in the Tai Chi world. In the end, these are just words. These are just words that we assign to arts. 
some of these words have histories behind them and the arts have histories behind them. But for me, in my practice of the arts of Qigong and Tai Chi and in my teaching of them as well, I'm interested in going beyond mere words. I'm interested in going deeper into discovering the essence of Qigong and Tai Chi underneath these terms and terminology and words and Chinese words and English translations. I want to get to the bottom of these arts. And words are never the end result, right? The closest we can come to when we're describing something is poetry. And even poetry falls short. So just keep in mind, keep that in mind that words always, always, always fall short. They're just the finger pointing to the moon, right? Focus on the moon, not the finger, right? That was in, a, in one of the famous Bruce Lee movies. Or the, wax them on the head. Don't focus on the finger or you miss all the heavenly glories. Uh, words are the fingers, point, the fingers pointing to the moon. And you need to remember that words fall short. They're just terms and that we want to focus on the heavenly glories. We want to focus on the moon, not just the terms. So I hope that's helpful for you. I hope it helps get to the bottom. <laughs> Even though I didn't really give you a straight answer of whether or not Tai Chi is a form of Qigong or not, I hope this was somehow helpful for you. And I hope it helps you to, in the end, discover the moon and stop focusing so much on the finger.